Yeah, just a second. Hey. So what do you think she made for you? How you doing, Clint? Jordan Scott. I don't know who that is. Really? We got Jordan calling you four times. So what? So we'd like to know what you're doing hanging out with a guy we think killed one of your workers, Evan Charney. Evan's dead? That's right. Did you help him rig that? What, are you crazy? I wouldn't do something that reckless. Although. Although what? Jordan. Jordan was asking me demolition-related questions. That you answer. Yeah, why not? Teaching people to blow shit up is something you do on a regular Come basis. On, man, you guys always want to hear stuff like that. So what were you and Jordan up to? Nothing, okay? Evan just put me in touch with the guy, okay? I've only talked to him over the phone. What were the calls about? Look, Jordan, he throws odd jobs my way, okay? Look, I got alimony payments to make, and the dough was good, so I did it. Odd jobs like what? Construction work? No, man. It's more like waste management, okay? You get Bubbles to say he's Fuzzy Dunlop. Except Bubbles has been a registered CI for years. Kima gave him a number back when she was in plain clothes, man. And Herc, you work with him under that number on the Barksdale stuff. So how would you fuck up the ID? Fuck me, man. Look, the only way to get out from under this is to stop fucking lying, okay? You grab your dick, you walk into Marimo's office, and you say, Lieutenant, I made a mistake. I attributed my PC to an informant when, in fact, I had it off a of camera. He's gonna take my stripes on this. Look, maybe he does, but if you wait until ISD comes looking for that camera and he figures out the lie for himself, he takes your fucking balls. Marisol Gonzalez? Yes? Can I talk to you for a minute? You're under arrest. What are you talking about? ¿Qué pasa? Jason Hernandez is in critical condition. You better hope he lives. I do, he's a nice kid, but that's not my fault. You sold him a controlled substance. It was all fake. Yeah, well, his reaction to it was very real, and it's a crime regardless. No, so, Marisol, no entiendo. Me quieren arrestar por no vender drogas. Ma'am, your daughter is under arrest for fraud and endangerment. It's all in the world. No, no, this is not real. No, Mr. this Officer? can't be real. I didn't do Officer? nothing. No! 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 He no! 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 So how's everything? It's going. Working anywhere? I mean, are they paying you well? It's... <clears throat> uh, got laid off a few weeks back, but I'm all right. You got any money? Yeah, I'm okay. Well, you know I'm a powerful man. I, mean, I can make things happen for you, Ryder. Why don't you come work for me? Hey, man, I don't know anything about no politics, all right? <laughs> no, nah, man, that wouldn't be an issue. I mean, I'm thinking you would act as more of a, uh, a fixer, you know? Kind of man that can make things happen. We in political office, we're, uh, targets. People, they just use us and they get what they want. Sometimes they spy on us, and sometimes they get something that could damage our reputations, if it makes the press. But of course, all this happens behind the scenes. I mean, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with uh, smear campaigns, right? You know, reports on uh, politicians using cocaine, sleeping with prostitutes, that kind of thing. Yeah. We're no different than professional athletes. Most of these situations are manageable, but um, there are select cases where we could use someone who's willing to step outside of the law to make things happen. And that person would be thoroughly protected by us. What do you need me to do? There's this nuisance photographer that's been following two of my friends, man. I want you to go see him. I want you to get every photograph that he's taken, and if he's made duplicates, I want you to destroy them. I'm his fly. God bless America. You gotta hold, hold it, hold it, hold it. <laughs> hold it in, hold it in. You all right? <laughs> hold it in. Is it true that you were shot in Vietnam? Yeah, that's right. Why, you wanna see? Yes. Can I touch it? Go ahead, you can touch it if you want. Sorry, I don't 
but uh, I don't know who that is. Yes, you do. You loaned the money for him. <laughs> no, I don't. Yeah, you do. What happened? Your Wall Street bonuses weren't enough for you? If you had any proof, the SEC would already have my license and I would be in jail. Come on, Mark. This guy's a major drug kingpin. Look, I don't know why Ramondo Salazar killed my brother. Yes, you do. Look, then just tell us where to find him. If he knew I told you anything, he would kill me, do too. Do the right thing, Mark. You don't want to do it for us, you don't want to do it for your dead brother, do it for your broken-hearted mother, okay? Tell us where to find him. When he comes to New York, Salazar, sometimes he stays with a girlfriend in Harlem. Her name is Sylvia. Where do we find this Sylvia? She works at a barbershop on 125th Street. Do I have it right that you picked up a guy named Mike Parker last week for smoking pot? No, I let him off with a warning. You let a lot of people off with warnings? You see, it turns out that this Mike Parker has been busted a couple of times for possession with intent. Did you, did you run him before you cut him loose? Yeah. Yeah, I still thought it was a waste of time. Jesus. You see, the thing is, Harold, if you had busted him like you were supposed to, we'd at least have an address to work with here. That's why my partner's a little out of sorts. Funny found was a nine millimeter. More consistent with that? I well, we'll know for sure until we get him back to the coroner's office, but I'll say so. Nice work. You're either a psychic or you're a liar. I gotta ask you, how's your wife? I understand she got into some trouble. She's in a nut house. Oh, you're dirty, buddy. Oh, 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 no doubt about it, it's dirty. What's her name again? Chopiak. Chopiak. 